It's the first time that um, our entire squad um, have been together. Um, obviously, Daly Cherry Evans and Jake Trebojevic and others have had um, representative commitments over the break. So to have the whole squad together, build some connection by staying together, living together for the full week. And we thought the Australian Institute of Sport because that's where the best athletes in Australia go to prepare for gold medals. Yes, it's where the Olympians go, right? It's, it's gold medal preparation. That's where the whole process starts. So for us, we want to have a gold medal preparation. This week is about us, I suppose, restarting the engine, okay, down here away, connecting with each other, spending some time together this week, all right, pretty much taking our footy program, bring it here, bring it to that, all right, so those who want a recovery, optional, go grab your gear, JC, we're going to need my gear. You know, the idea of having every facility with regards to combat centre, the recovery centre, you know, the gym, team meeting rooms, all within you know, a two or three minute walk. It's a one stop shop there, but we're living together for the full week. Training and that, let's really utilise this time here to make sure that we get something out of it. You can certainly see when we went down there, the games were around the corner because these boys are ready to go. Boys certainly hit the mark there when we first got down there. It was, this is a tone for, for our trip and, um, and that carried its way, you know, throughout the time that we're down there. Oh, Our focus for the camp was to build upon our game model. You know, we know how we want to play our football in 2024 and we worked really hard on developing a way that is the manly way of playing. And you know, we have a game model that you know, we practice every minute of every training session, whether it's in the gym, whether it's in the wrestle room, whether it's on the field, um, doing craft, whatever it is. And it was a great opportunity to retrieve what we had done prior to Christmas, but also you know, add some layers to how we want to play our footy. And, and doing it with the full squad was, was really beneficial for us. And you know, having that week together um, you know, sets us up in good stead with, uh, with the trial period coming up. So 90-90 hip rolls on the floor. 90-90 hip roll there. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, Extension, boys. 
minutes short sharp activity picking up what we've done in the six weeks in the pre-season just to integrate it into the training session one of the things that we're working really hard on is how do we dilute the interference that comes in into a player's week and particularly narrowing that focus 48 hours out from a game in through the nostrils and we're going to wipe the board clean slowly out what techniques work for you to help you get neutral to have the experience of andrew may come in and work with us on our mental skills. He does it weekly or twice weekly. But, you know, he helps um, equip our players to the mental challenges that are thrown at us, not only on the field, but away from football. And it's amazing at the forefront of that. He's, he's a leader at what he does. Um, he also, what he does with the players is part of an integrated approach. Uh, then my highlight is my daughter, Billy. She's, um, yeah, she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I mean, there's a lot of uh, dads in there. Dad's here and just um, yeah, it means means so much to me to be to be able to be her father and um, yeah, uh, the, she's 16 months old and that time has gone so quick that um, it just keeps getting better and better. Come on, You can't buy experience, can you? you know, they've done everything there is to do in the game. You know, Where else do you get that sort of experience to be able to go through the group? They lead in very different ways, but they definitely complement the, the playing group here, and, and guys just look up to them. Good job, lads! A bit of talk, eh? Just communicate as if we're going down there in the defensive line. Kick sprints. Two. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! When you've got role models like that, you know, leading you on and off the field, it definitely makes your job a lot easier. You bring someone like Nathan Brown to your squad who's played State of Origin, you know, and he definitely makes that training competitive. He's a competitive beast by nature. He goes out there, he doesn't know what 99% means, he's 100%. And that rubs off on the rest of the bloke. 
you know, Tommy Talao, Jackson Paulo and the outside backs, like, you know, two young guys who've got their best footy in front of them, you know, extremely talented, skillful young men who, um, you know, have come to this environment, come to this club, come to this team because they want to be better. They want to be around, you know, like the Tom Trebojevic's in this world and learn from them and, and play next to them. So um, with those guys coming here, it has, you know, you, you, you're sitting there watching battles of training that, you know, Tolu Kula and Tommy Talao going at each other. Like, you know, they know that when they turn up to training there, they need to be on because if they're not, you know, they're going to get exposed. On the record board, I've only got 28, so... Well, not only got 28, oh. no, I've got 28, so 30 is pretty good, I think, from Sabi. I'll tell you what's not good is our commentary skills. I think we should get Mickey Ennis from Fox League up here because I'm sweating. One thing that Canberra did give us the opportunity to do was go use an Olympic class gymnasium. So for us, looking after the outside backs, um, gives us a chance to go there and, uh, and, and test their acrobatic skills. But, you know, one thing that's been a real feature of our game now, you know, is, is wingers and the way they're able to contort and move their bodies in the air, you know, to score tries. And the competition's so close, you know, the margin for error is so small. So if we can get a competitive advantage by going down there, utilising those facilities, being able to practice experiment, look at ways they can taught their body, you know, different ways they can go in to score a try, and um, you know, it's it's, it's only going to help us. This camp was a bespoke camp for um, you know what we wanted to do um, leading into 2024, like the Manly Mentality Camp. I think they're, they're two really good opportunities for us as a group to connect, um, you know, drive the values and behaviours that we want to see, and, and spend some time together um, under duress in the Manly Mentality Camp, but also um, really you know connecting and having a footy focus at the AIS camps. So it's something we want to continue going forward, um, but this was really designed around this 2024 um, season.